You and I left a good life behind a long time ago, my friend. The man, the myth, and the legend returns in John Wick. Chapter 4, stuntman turned filmmaker Chad Stahelska's latest installment in his lore-rich action franchise. Starring Keanu Reeves as the titular legendary assassin, the director informs us that Chapter 4 will dig even deeper into the posh underworld that deals in death and debauchery while maintaining a high degree of class and adhering to a strict set of guidelines. From John Wick's 2014 debut, each film has expounded on screenwriter Derek Kolstad's universe of masterful assassins, revealing more about the fearsome high table of crime lords, the killer safe space known as the Continental Hotel, and the intertwined lives of these calculating underworld denizens during his interview with Collider's editor-in-chief Stephen Weintraub. Stahelski revealed that John Wick 4 will be the saga's longest-running entry, with at least a third more scenes than the last one, will take place across some of the world's most breathtaking landscapes, and will explore some of John Wick's familial past. The director also discussed filming in the Louvre, who Bill Skarsgård plays in the film, the experience seeing Donnie Yen and Hiroyuki Sonata in one-on-one -on -one combat, Clancy Brown's pivotal role, what's next for Stahelski and more. If you're looking forward to the next John Wick sequel, you'll learn a lot reading or watching this interview. John Wick. Chapter 4 was originally set to hit theaters on May 21, 2021, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as Reeves scheduling conflicts with The Matrix, Resurrections, the premiere date was pushed back a year to May 27, 2022. Since then, it's been postponed again to March 24, 2023. In addition to Reeves returning as the titular hitman, Stahelski also confirmed Ian McShane would be returning for his fourth John Wick movie. I couldn't be happier than to welcome Ian McShane back to John Wick. Chapter 4, the director said in a statement at the time. He is not only an amazing actor but is an indispensable collaborator who has helped define the world of John Wick. Other familiar faces confirmed for the fourth entry are Lance Reddick and Lawrence Fishburne. John Wick Chapter 4 has also been quickly building an absolutely stacked crew of new cast members, including a trio of proven action badasses in Donnie Yen, Scott Adkins, and Mark Zerrer alongside horror's scariest evil clown Bill Skarsgård. Seen stealing Japanese actor Hiroyuki Sonata, Winona Earp favorite Shamir Anderson, Japanese British British singer-songwriter Rina Sawayama in her film debut, and the goddamn Kurgan himself, Clancy Brown. Keanu Reeves will, obviously, be playing the title role of John Wick, an assassin who wears the hell out of a suit and knows roughly 10,000 ways to make you be dead. McShane is reprising the role of Winston, owner of the New York Continental Hotel, who we last saw betraying John Wick with a bullet to the chest. Stahelski noted that he still thinks Winston's intentions are up for interpretation. He meant to shoot him, the director told THR. Did he mean to kill him? That's open for interpretation, you can take it one of two ways, and that's kind of where we pick up some of the unanswered questions in John Wick 4. Lance Reddick will reprise the role of Charon, the Continental Steely Concierge, while Fishburne will once again play the underground assassin leader, the Bowery King. Talking to Collider, Skarsgård said his role required no fight training but is something different. In an interview with Collider, Stahelski also revealed some interesting information about Skarsgård's character, a villain known as the Marquis. His character's name, his broad name, is the Marquis. The Marquis is, without giving too much away, I wouldn't really say the antagonist, but he's the one in charge of cleaning up all the messes from the first three movies. While there isn't an official plot synopsis quite yet for John Wick, Chapter 4, there's a ton of info out there about what we can expect. The film will pick up after the explosive ending to John Wick 3, which saw John completely separated from the assassin organization known as the High Table. The consortium's leadership believes John is dead, thanks to Winston shooting him off the roof of a building, but he's actually found himself injured and in the care of the Bowery King. Talking to Collider, Fishburne revealed that the upcoming film, like every entry before it, will strive to dig even deeper into the mythology and lore surrounding of this world. I read the script. It's really, really cool. As much as it's the same world as the other three films, it's just deeper. It's much deeper in terms of the code of the assassin and the relationship that he has with one character in particular dot 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 is really the heart and soul of it. In a recent interview with IndieWire, Stahelski was pretty adamant that no matter where John Wick, Chapter 4 is going, it will not have a happy end. Ending. John may survive all this shit, but at the end of it, there's no happy ending. He's got nowhere to go. Honestly, I challenge you right now, here's a question to you, how do you fucking want me to end it? Do you think he's going to ride off into the fucking sunset? He's killed 300 fucking people and he's just going to, everything's okay. He's just going to fall in love with a love interest. If you're this fucking guy, if this guy really exists, how is this guy's day going to end? He's fucked for the rest of his life. It's just a matter of time. 
You and I left a good life behind a long time ago, my friend. <laughs>